Hi, my name is uh, Hamid Musavian. Uh, I live in Los Angeles, California. In uh, 2018, I believe 2018, I had a colonoscopy and a uh, couple of weeks after having colonoscopy, I had uh, uh, blood in my urine and uh, so I went to UCLA and they did the cystoscopy and told me that uh, there was some tumor on my bladder and uh, so they did uh, uh, three treatments in uh, UCLA and uh, because after each uh, surgery and the treatment they would do another cystoscopy and then they would find uh, that uh, there are some tumor. Uh, although tumor were non-invasive but it still it was uh, uh, a major issue. And after the third treatment uh, they told me that uh, I need to have a surgery and remove the bladder and they uh, put a new uh, bladder uh, for me. But uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I have a uh, uh, primary doctor who told me that I can uh, uh, try a doctor in Mexico uh, and uh, his name is uh, uh, Dr. Castillo and uh, so I went to Mexico and had uh, uh, a number of uh, treatment for a couple of months uh, having IV and uh, I was getting better one of the days that I was at uh, Dr. Castillo's uh, office uh, uh, in his lobby in the morning uh, to start my treatment I met uh, two uh, gentlemen uh, waiting there as well but they were not for the treatment, they were there to have an appointment with the Dr. Castillo. And one of them was uh, Dr. Nezami, along with another doctor. And they told me that if I am there, I said I have uh, this uh, bladder tumor and uh, I'm here for treatment. And Dr. Nezami told me that uh, uh, to uh, contact him and uh, he, he practiced in Orange County. But uh, since I was having my treatment there, so I just uh, told them that, you know, hopefully it is getting better here. And there was another doctor with Dr. Nezami that uh, keep mentioning his name, saying that his name is Dr. Nezami. He repeated like uh, 10 times so that uh, I wouldn't forget it. Uh, so the time passed, I came uh, uh, back to Los Angeles, and, uh, but uh, my issue uh, came back. I went to UCLA and they did uh, another cystoscopy and told me that I need to do another surgery, uh, which I did and uh, they said that, you know, it was not invasive, but uh, I need to have uh, they're going to do some uh, uh, local uh, treatment and uh, after two months they asked me to do another CT scan and they told me that uh, uh, there is uh, more tumor now and they were surprised and they told me that uh, I need to do uh, additional surgery. So on January 2022 I had another surgery and they told me that uh, now I have a tumor, uh, the, uh, there were a lot of tumors in my bladder and uh, also there was some blood clot on the uterus which connects the right kidney to the bladder and also uh, they saw some, uh, they looked at the right kidney and there was some cyst so they told me that I need to do surgery to remove my right kidney, my right uterus, and my right uh, bladder. And in addition, they plan to remove my uh, 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 
my bladder and also my prostate. And uh, so I told them that, you know, if there can be any other solution, they said, no, there is no other solution. I asked them, how about radiation? They said, no, no radiation would help. I told them that, you know, if maybe they try to keep the bladder or they just remove the kidney, they said, no, they have to remove everything. I said, if they keep the prostate, they said, no, they have to remove everything. I asked for radiation. They said, no, they, uh, they cannot do that. And uh, they have to remove all uh, uh, right kidney, right uterus, right, I mean, bladder and uh, uh, prostate. Uh, so I was very concerned. I didn't know what to do. Uh, so uh, I talked to my primary doctor and uh, she referred me to a oncology and, uh, uh, and uh, even my oncology uh, based on the doctor's report said that you know the best thing is to have the surgery and the treatment uh, would not uh, uh, help. And but finally I uh, discussed more and uh, uh, they agreed that you know maybe I can start with Keytruda. But Keytruda has uh, a number of side effects. They told me that it has side effects but uh, uh, if you like you can uh, try to have the Keytruda. So I start doing Keytruda and uh, uh, but while I was doing uh, a couple of sessions of Keytruda, uh, I remembered about uh, Dr. Nezami and uh, I didn't know his name, I didn't remember his name, but uh, then I remembered the other doctor telling me his name many times, his name is Dr. Nezami, Dr. Nezami. Then I said, oh, I have to call Dr. Nezami. So I looked for Dr. Nezami and uh, uh, we had a, a remote uh, uh, via Zoom uh, consultation, and uh, he said that uh, he had uh, he has this uh, certain treatment that uh, would help me, and uh, so and it doesn't have any side effect, uh, unlike the Keytruda, and uh, so I came uh, uh, started treatment of with Dr. Nezami, I believe it was on uh, uh, May or June uh, 2022 and uh, uh, initially they did some testing, they sent it to I believe uh, uh, Germany uh, to find out about the uh, issue that I have and the test came and it showed that I have some tumor and Dr. Nezami started the treatment. I was coming to his office uh, about three times a week. Uh, there were about 10 sessions after uh, total treatment. And after 10 treatment, I, feel, I really felt good. I forgot to mention that uh, uh, when I was getting treatment at Dr. Nezami's office, he advised that uh, uh, Keytruda might have side effects and there is no reason to kind of continue with it because this would be sufficient. So I stopped the K-Tutor and uh, uh, started uh, Dr. Nizami's treatment. After 10 treatment, there were uh, some uh, uh, intermediate uh, additional treatment for a couple of months. And after that, uh, I start having treatment every three weeks. And uh, I continued it, and uh, uh, today is uh, uh, January 3rd, 2023. I had a CT scan last Wednesday, and uh, uh, I received a uh, text from my primary doctor on last Thursday saying that Hamid, so I'd like to read what my doctor, primary doctor sent it to me because it is uh, very important, I believe. 
Uh, on January 26, 2023, at 6.28 p.m., I received this text from my primary doctor. Uh, she said, Hamid, I got your CT scan and your bladder is totally normal. No more nodules or anything. That is miracle. Wow. And, uh, and I had a... Uh, 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 visit with my primary doctor on uh, last last Tuesday, two days ago, and uh, uh, she showed me the CT scan report, and the uh, CT scan report shows that uh, there is nothing on the bladder, in addition there is no, nothing on the kidney, and uh, uh, also in addition to this problem I had a couple of cyst on my liver and uh, it seems that uh, those are also gone so it seems that uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Nizami's treatment really helped me to uh, recover fully and I just don't know how to uh, thank Dr. Nizami also I'd like to mention another things that uh, in another doctor's office, I met this uh, 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 person who had a similar bladder uh, problem. And uh, uh, since the doctor knew that you know I'm getting treatment with uh, Dr. Nizami, uh, she asked me to talk to him and say that you know how helpful uh, the Dr. Nizami treatment is. And uh, so he came and had a visit with Dr. Nezami and uh, I met him again after a couple of months and he told me that uh, uh, Dr. Nezami treatment really worked. He had uh, uh, treatment using Keytruda but Keytruda did not help him so he didn't know what else to do. So the doctors had told him that he has to remove his bladder. But it seemed that uh, key to the failed, but uh, Dr. Nizami's uh, treatment uh, helped him. And uh, I'm very happy that I was able to refer another patient to Dr. Nizami that uh, helped him to uh, recover and uh, so I believe that the Dr. Nizami's treatment is very useful. Uh, I believe that there is no side effect. I haven't seen any side effect in the treatments that Dr. Nizami provide. Uh, I believe that it is natural. I'm not aware of all the uh, medication or what it is, but uh, I haven't seen any side effect. And, uh, uh, so I'm really grateful to Dr. Nizami and his staff that are very kind, very helpful, and uh, they really they do their best to have a uh, good feeling while you get the, your treatment. And, uh, and Dr. Nizami always laughs, you know, unlike the other doctors that I have seen, the surgeon that they were very serious and they uh, they hardly talk to a patient and uh, uh, and they say that there is no other option other than to do surgery and they remove the body part. Dr. Nizami always laughs and always talk with the client, I mean with the patient and he's always available to the patients and uh, so it is amazing that you know such a good doctor does provide such an excellent service and uh, uh, save uh, human uh, life and uh, I, I wish that uh, uh, God uh, help uh, Dr. Nizami uh, on what he's doing and I just don't know how to uh, thank him but I'm very grateful uh, for him for his treatment and for his staff and I believe that uh, it was God sent that uh, I met Dr. Nizami in Mexico in another doctor's office so I think that is just a, 
miracle that I met him and it was God sent and God bless him.